Good adapter or bad adapter? This sounds like some sort of weird childhood nursery rhyme, but the truth is there are good lens adapters in this world and there are bad lens adapters. And I'm gonna point out one particular lens adapter that I bought recently that I absolutely do not recommend and it is pretty terrible but it's also by a company that I generally trust. So I'm going to go through how you identify whether you've got a good or bad lens adapter and sort of wade through all the different options as far as lens adapters go. What makes this so difficult in many situations, purely based on looks, a good lens adapter and a bad lens adapter essentially look identical to each other. And it can be very, very hard to tell the difference. So I've got three lens adapters here, two which I absolutely do not recommend, and one which is an excellent lens adapter that I use all the time, uh, although it is uh, new to the market, and I do recommend it. Now I'll start with this one here. Now this lens adapter on the surface looks good, as good as any of the other ones. It has an all metal body. It has a metal mount, which is very important. It has a removable, uh, tripod mount on it. So if you've got sort of a big or heavy lens, you can actually mount the camera by this and that takes the stress off the lens mount on the camera itself. So you sort of balance, you got the camera off one side and you got the big lens off the other side. So just on the surface, it actually looks like a sort of pretty good adapter. In addition to that, this is a company of which I have bought tons of stuff from and I specifically buy their cheap gear when I see it because I've had such good luck with it. But as soon as I put this one on the camera, I knew I had problems and this was not the right lens adapter for me. And I actually only kept it so I could keep it as an example for you guys and girls to kind of just show what a bad lens adapter is or how it works. To start with, if you look at the mount on both sides, where the lens goes and where it goes on the camera, this is not a polished mount. So it's a machined mount, but not a polished mount. And if we look at the good lens adapter here, if you look at that, that is a polished mount. And essentially this looks like the chrome on like a bumper of an old car. It's super smooth and polished and reflective. What this means is that when you put this on your camera and it joins up against the polished mount on the camera and you're turning it on and off, it turns and moves very smoothly. An unpolished mount or just a machined mount that has sort of a bit of a matte feel and a matte look to it is actually gonna create friction. And over time, that will wear down your mount on your camera or your mount on your lens, which isn't a good thing. Where these polished mounts, they are just gonna smoothly thread on and over time are less likely to cause any damage from sort of taking the lenses or taking the, the uh, adapters on and off. So that's the first thing I noticed. The next thing I noticed, and I'll just give you an example here, just with, even with this little um, cap that it came with, you put this on and you hear that, that just rattles and moves around. It is not secure at all. Now, if I take that same lens cap and I put it on this one, what you're gonna find is there's very little play there. So there was a ton of play in the lens when I put it on. And I'll grab a lens and just show you with the lens on. So here's with the lens on. And when I put it on, it just has this, I'll take this lens hood up. It just has this sort of little bit of movement. And when I move it, I can actually see a gap between the lens and the adapter itself. Now, first of all, that could allow light to get in. Second, depending on the way that you're holding it, it actually could potentially flex enough that it actually disconnects the sort of lens contacts from the actual adapter itself. So it can be a problem in that way. The other thing about this is, and honestly, I should have known better in the first place. When, when I ordered this, it was the only one available. Everything else was sold out. And it said in the reviews, it said, don't buy it, camera killer, no good, all these negative reviews. A few positive ones, it you know, does what it's supposed to. But I kind of figured, I know this company and I know they make good products. I should have trusted the reviews. It, it, it isn't any good. That's the first one. Now, the second one here, this is a plastic body, which isn't sort of the worst thing, but this is a fairly cheap plastic body. Ideally, you want a metal body. In addition to that, it actually has sort of the, the shoe or the um, tripod attachment there. And the tripod attachment doesn't actually remove. This removes. 
And this is important because if you are going to be using a lens adapter and you have a cage that's going on it, this will often bang into the cage or grip. It also just at times if you are not using that part, if you actually have your camera and you've got your lens mounted on it, the camera will not sit flat because this tripod shoe just makes the thing sit up. So if you're gonna use it in a way that you don't need that tripod mount, you just take that off and then it just fits like a normal lens. The whole thing is like just one little bit longer lens and you don't have this getting in the way of setting your camera straight. So this one, you cannot remove that. And the other thing about both of these inferior mounts is this little sort of lens bit is, you know, where it actually connects to the lens and has the little switch. It just feels a little bit weak, not very strong. Doesn't feel like it would last very long. This one seems to be like mostly plastic, which isn't great. And as you can see, there's a lot more resistance, a lot of spring, and it's a lot smoother in sort of the better mount. And probably the worst part about this is these two lens adapters, the really bad one and the really good one, actually cost the exact same amount. So there was no savings in going for the cheaper one. Now this all plastic one, this is one that I have recommended in the past. It's $29 versus $49 for these two. It actually isn't bad, but uh, but nowadays, the fact that you can get such good lens adapters for $49, I think it's better to just take that extra money and put it into the little bit better adapter that's gonna last longer, all metal body, uh, a nice, uh, much nicer mount. So I really don't recommend going for these sort of really cheap $29 all plastic ones anymore. And I'll put links to all the good adapters and the bad adapters in the description down below and I will label them as such so you know what you're looking at. And if you've ever wondered what the difference is between a speed booster and an adapter because they look very similar, I've just thrown a video on screen now that will answer all your questions about the differences between a speed booster and a straight adapter.